for those of you who know me or have been following me through the years, um, you know how I jump around a lot, um, have my hands in a lot of different things. Yeah. I'm here today to introduce the last thing I needed, which was another project. have a John Deere 772B motor grader die cast. It's approximately 22 inches long and my plan is to turn it into a remote control motor grader. I kind of hate them cutting this thing up. Uh, it says display only. Love dad. Compliments. Ison equipment. Ashland, Wisconsin. It's dated 8-19 of 1991, so as of right now, it's about 30 years old by that date. There's a note up here beside it that says, got two of these for the demo of Old Grader. One for you plus one for me. They had no H for the 772BH. So I'm assuming they traded a, a 772B for a BH. It is the same though. B series H is for high output engine. So I know this thing's at least 30 years old. And you can't even wipe the dust off with your hands, but I'm fixing to open it. And I'm only going to go over what I'm going to do today. I got to finish up a project or two. But this is going to be one of my next things I'm going to do. I kind of hate I'm doing it because it's... It had some sentimental value to somebody, but um, I put it on eBay and sold it, so I guess the sentimental value is gone. All right. It articulates in the center, which I'm going to try to make that remote control. Shouldn't be a problem to do. I'm going to have the blade working up and down by remote control. Right now it's just got some little locks on it. And the one I saw, the blade would rotate too. Yeah, it just needs to be freed up. So this thing's 30 years old. So, I'm going to get the blade freed up. I'm going to make it where it'll, it'll rotate by radio. Uh, the front end does not steer, so I'm going to have to build a complete new front end for it. Which, that should be a right fun project. Um, So if I hadn't bit off more than I could chew. We got plenty of room up in there to put the electronics. Well, I say plenty of room. It'll be tight, but anyway, so that's the that's the blade. I'll show you some of the parts I got. We got these little LiPo batteries, they're three cell. They're small. I had to buy a lot of airplane stuff because I had to have something compact. Cause see, I got to be able to put this battery in here, which it looks small in there. I got to be able to put a battery in there, a receiver. Um, I got this little fly sky radio. It says six channel on the box, but it's supposed to be able to be upgraded or reprogrammed to a 10 channel. Because it's going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, It's going to take 6 channels just to make this thing steer and the blade work and articulate. And I want to put lights on it. And everything you do has to have a channel. Like this side's got to have a channel and this side's got to have a channel. Or either they'll both work together if you put them on the same channel. And I want to be able to tilt it. 
Anyway, so here's the radio. It's an airplane radio, it's nothing special. I don't know, it's about 60, 70 bucks off of Amazon. But I was just looking for a cheap radio that had a heap of channels. And here's the receiver and antenna. So I got to be able to get this and this battery and at least one servo inside that, which that shouldn't be a problem. Show you some of the other stuff I got. I got these little robotic motors, drive motors. They do 100 RPMs. And there should be plenty of room to get them stuck up under there. I got to adapt this to a tire. So, as of right now, I've only got four of these. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with the front end yet. But these just go on here, lock down with a set screw, then put like a rock crawling bead lock rim on it, which is what I was trying to get to. I just got to fab up something to put these under there. And I got a bag of cheap mini servos. I don't know how good these are going to be. But if I can get it working and they don't last, I'll, I'll buy something better. But I need something small. And these are pretty small. So I'm going to have to put one up in here. Somewhere to make the blade angle. Anyway, so that's it. That's my brand new project that I don't need, but I'm real excited about it. I've seen a couple of these done online. And I'm really excited to see how it turns out. It's always fun when you start building something like this that ain't supposed to work or ain't supposed to be there. It's also a lot of work. Anyway. I'll update along the way, and we'll see how it turns out.